You want to start with hot hands? What's that? Oh, yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the best part, man. I don't know what hot hands is yet. You don't know what hot hands is? No, what is it? You don't remember On hot the hands table? from a kid? Oh, no. oh, that? Nice. Bro. And then we'll tell our funny story about hot hands. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys ever play hot feet? I don't think we've ever played Same hot thing, feet. just with your feet. Not true. <laughs> no I'm such, just kidding. I made that no up. such thing. Don't listen to Sean. You ready, bro? Yeah. And then we'll do two hand hot hands, not just one hand hot like hands. Two. Uh, here, buddy. You got to move this up a little bit. Yes. Catch you, but not hit you. How's this way? Yeah. Still catch up? Yeah. I'll move it back when you get there. You ready? So should we tell them the story about <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah. Dude, you, gotta, you can't put your hands on my hand. Why? You got to oh, keep yeah. them just like right there. You feel you can do it again? <laughs> Come on. Uh, I, was, I messed up. That was you. You went. No, no. That's your turn. <laughs> You're too slow. So we were playing hot hands in the truck. <laughs> and, uh, while you were driving? While I was driving. No, one, one hand hot hand. So I was yeah. playing one hand. And I you scared me. I scared him on one of the high hands and he farted. <laughs> I got I I like tickled this one hand and he's like <laughs> and he started dying laughing. He probably laughed for ten minutes down yeah, the road. He, the he said what did he do? He started he started crying. He was laughing so hard. <laughs> right? That was good. Alright, high five. My man. Alright, Stephen Leroy. I'm Stephen Leroy, nice to meet you. Your guest number eight on the podcast. I'm your son. You are my son. That's why this podcast is so cool. Yeah. All right, we got to try to remember the things we were talking about in the truck. I can't remember. Uh, working see. out. Working out. We were talking about working out. Um. You're getting all muscular now. Yes, because when I go to school and I go on the playgrounds, I do five pull-ups. 25 push-ups. Really? Mm-hmm. At school? Mm-hmm. In front of everybody? Mm-hmm. And nobody says nothing to you? In the grass. Really? Show me your arms. Dang, dude. Oh, my gosh. Look at them little biceps. I guess I shouldn't say little. They're getting pretty big. <laughs> Dang, dude. You're getting strong. Mm-hmm. Why do you want to work out? Mm-hmm. A lot of things. A lot of reasons? Mm-hmm. Okay. Reason number one? Um, it'll make me do more. It will make you do more. Where did you learn how to work out so much? You and mom. Me and mom? Yeah. Do we work out a lot? Mom does. Mom does work out a lot. <laughs> she works out every day. Mm-hmm. She works out she, oh, she, too much. She um, missed a day yesterday, though. She, <laughs> she did miss a day yesterday. She, she got so frustrated. I know she did. Mom takes her workouts pretty seriously. Mm -hmm. She has to get one in every single day. See, you're young, so I don't think you're, you don't feel it yet. But when you get older, if you don't, because see, you play a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, you and Grant and Teddy and all your friends at school and baseball. And even us, like we remember when we were young, we, don't, we didn't really even have to think about working out. But when you start to get older... It's not as easy to stay flexible and strong like you are. So you have to do a lot of working out. So that's reason number one, you want to get strong. Mm -hmm. And you do it because mom and dad do it. No. No? <laughs> you just like working out? Yeah. What about, your, what about your favorite sports? Baseball. Baseball? Mm, that's my number two. Number two. Football's my number one. I know. I knew football was number one. <laughs> And basketball is my number three. Soccer is my number four. Basketball is your number three, bro. You haven't even played basketball That's yet. That's why I want to try it and see if... <laughs> so how could it be your number three if you haven't even tried it yet? What if you try it and you hate it? I, I tried it before in gym, and I like it. Oh, really? Yes. You played it in gym class? I didn't really play a game. I was just, like, shooting. Oh, yeah. You know that basketball is probably... Probably top my... For top five for me? It, yeah, it's definitely top five. It might be my favorite sport to play, to actually play. You know why? Why? Because you never stop moving. 
because even if you don't have the ball, you still have to like run around and play defense and do it. There's so many things you could do. That's why I love it. Plus, I'm tall and I'm kind of good at it. <laughs> <laughs> and you can dunk. Mm, I, uh, maybe a while ago. Now I'm getting fat and old, so it's hard. See, that's what I mean. When you get older, it's harder to jump off the ground. <laughs> the earth seems to suck you down more and more and more. No. Yeah, it's hard. It's really hard. All right. What is your favorite thing to do? To do in general. If I was to just leave you totally alone, you're by yourself, and you had to figure out one thing to do, what would you do? Mm. One is the toss the fo- a football around yeah, with me. To yourself? Yeah. Um, Don't you get sick of doing that? No. You do it every day. So? <laughs> I know so. <laughs> But don't you just get sick of just throwing the football to yourself all the time? No. Okay, next question. I'm crazy. <laughs> well, what if, would you rather throw it by yourself or one of your brothers or a friend? Or is by yourself like your favorite? Friend. With a friend? A friend yeah. yeah. Do you play catch with people at school? If they have a football, then yeah. Yeah. Do they let you do that in recess? Really? Yeah, if I go outside. They let you do, it, do they let you do whatever you want in recess? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They just and let outside, you go outside? Though. Oh, okay. Do you always go outside or no? Not always. Not, not if, if it's, it's winter. Like cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, they've been letting you go outside a lot recently? Yes. Because the weather's been nice? Yeah. It's been super nice. I know. It's been very hot. And we've been doing it early so we don't, like, burn. <laughs> oh, so they let you have recess at different times? Yeah, so, like, we, so we, like, usually do it at, like... At like twelve thirty or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's the sun's pretty high up at twelve thirty, so it's pretty warm. I know, but like nor, near like two or like one thirty. Yeah, it's yeah. Gonna, it gets really hot. It gets like to seventy, like eighty-seven degrees. Eighty. It, yeah, today was probably up at eighty-seven. What's the perfect temperature? We were talking about outside on the sidewalk, remember? Yeah. What do you What do you think is like the perfect temperature? Seventy-two to like seventy-five. Yeah, that's what I think too. With man. like um, a with little like a, bit of wind, a slight yeah. breeze. Yeah, dude, do you listen to me talk a lot or what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's exactly what I would say. Because I said when we were walking, I said like winds coming at you, but not like super bad wind, like just a little breeze. Like a nice little breeze. Yeah, and like it's seventy-five degrees. It's perfect. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah. You know what's funny? You guys ever see the? Um, the video, there was a guy on social media who made a video about kids and how they just sit there and they're just like, how they watch TV is like all over the place. I was watching you the other day watching TV and he's like jumping on the couch, like watching TV upside down. And then like, he like rolls onto the bean bag and then he like gets up off the bean bag and like lays on the ground and then he gets back on the TV. Like he just can't sit and watch TV. <laughs> you got too much energy. That. I know, it's just so crazy. It's so crazy. Do you just got? Do you just feel like you have a lot of energy all the time? Because not all kids are like that. Just so you know, mm. not all kids have lots of energy all the time. I know. I have a lot of energy when I wake up early, yeah. but when I don't, I don't have a lot of energy. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. When I don't have a lot of energy, I don't have a lot of energy. You're right. I'm very tired. It's pretty simple. When I wake up early, though, that's when my energy is full up. What's early? Um, 6.45. I know. You have been waking up super early lately. I, yes. Today, I woke up at 6.41. Yeah, I know. What time does school start? Uh, 8, like, 8, oh, 8.10. So you get up 6.45. Yes. What time does the bus come? Um, 8.10. But it start the school starts at, um, like, eight fifty or something. Yeah, he's so got a long bus, bus ride because okay. we live out in the country. Yeah. Well, I want to. So, what are you doing from six forty five to eight ten? Are you working out? Um, you helping around the farm? No, you don't really do farm chores yet, do yeah. you? Sometimes you help. Yeah. Sometimes I think he like. 
You do a lot of, you know, come Some, downstairs, eat your breakfast, and then you guys hang out on the couch for a little bit. And then I just, yeah, I just run around then. Yeah, you do just run around. And then there's, like, some days when I'm, like, like, there's a few days when I woke up and I'm, like, man, I just really want to do work. So I just, <laughs> I just come down the stairs and I ask you, do you have to work on the farm? And, and you say yes. And I'm, like, okay, I'm working with you. Yeah, he does. I have chores. The the Can work ethic. Help me with those. <laughs> the work ethic gene runs strong in, in the Leroy uh, man uh, bloodline there. That's fantastic. Good job. Yeah, I you feel do like a good job. Huh? You like the farm? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I asked you if you would like to live like here in Chitawaga. No. 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 How come? It's just got less lands. <laughs> Dude, you're like a little mini me. You know that. <laughs> These are all the things that Daddy would say. Because then I couldn't run around and stuff. I know. I know. Yeah, what did you guys call it? The, the big house, right? The big house. Yeah. When we first moved into it, because it is significantly bigger than our old house. Mm-hmm. It's a lot bigger. All right, let me see. Can I help you with your head? Oh, that was my next question. What do you think about living on a farm? Can I have a second? It's great. Perfect. It's great. Do you like all the animals we got? Oh, time out. Oh, that feels better. <laughs> Were they too too low on your head? Yeah. Um, do you like all the farm animals we got? Yeah. Yeah? Except for the rooster. <laughs> Except for the rooster? <laughs> Can you tell everybody why you don't like the rooster? <laughs> because um, one day I was trying to get the eggs, and I was walking to get out, and the rooster just started attacking he me. Got, he did start attacking you. I remember that day. And then you kicked him like 20 feet in the air. Yeah, I did kick him like 20 <laughs> feet in the air, yeah. No, what, no rooster's going to mess with my son, I'll tell you that. <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore, he's not. No, if, he's, if he mess, messes with me, I'll just kick him now. Yeah. I don't yeah. care. Well, listen, you got to learn. I, like, those kind of moments are scary, right? It, sometimes you don't know what to do mm-hmm. when... Like, things happen right away to you. But once you kind of learn things and then you know what to do in the next moment, then you know how to do it next time, right? So now you're not super afraid. No. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. What about Ferguson? Do you like Ferguson? Yeah. Tell everybody who Ferguson is. He is my pig. He is our pig. And he always go. He, he Now he made his own bed. Yeah, he, he does. Put, he put... Like, there's, like, leftover hay, and he just, every night, he goes on it yeah. and sleeps on it. Yeah, I know he does. He made, like, a little, like, um... Yeah. I don't even know what you call it. A little nest. Like, a little nest. Yeah, it is. It's like a little pig nest. Yeah. He's so fat. Yeah. He's really fat. Would, you, only... be, would you be sad if we ate him? No. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, like, he... Like, sometimes I forget I have him. I know. He's very, he, like, hangs out on his own. He just does yeah. his own thing. I think he really likes the pond, like, yeah. the old pond we got. Yeah. Mom said she saw him, like, laying in the mud like a pig yeah. does. Yeah. But I'm kind of glad he's fat because I think his bacon will taste super good. Yeah. Even if we, if, if he gets even bigger, like, huge, like that um, pig that we saw, like, go, I going, know. That thing was huge. That thing was huge. It was like, I'm trying to think what animal it was like. I didn't realize how big, like, real pigs big can pigs can get. Yeah. Yeah, that's like a small bear. Yeah. I think it was that, massive. That was a big hog. That was a big hog. I bet you a lot of bacon come out of that sucker, huh? Yeah. And if we get Ferguson to look like that, oh, my God. I don't think, I don't think Ferguson's ever going to look like that because I think, I think that's just the kind of pig Ferguson is. Mm-hmm. He was bought to be a small pig. Mm-hmm. He's not supposed he to be as big He was super small when we got him. I know. He's like a little baby. Yeah, but now he's like huge. Yeah. What about the horse? You like the horse? Yes. Yeah. He he got a little, um like, rude. <laughs> he did get a little rude. <laughs> and I don't know when that happened, though. I don't know either. I think he's getting older. Yeah. I think he's... Just like, you know, like when guys get older and yeah. they get a little grumpy, like yeah. grumpy old man. I think that's what's happening to him. Mm-hmm. I think he's just sick of everything else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But 
I I would have to ask you a question. Oh, okay. Um, was it worth it to like do sixteen hours of driving? S- sixteen him? hours? Oh, to get the horse? Yes. So, you know, that's a good question, kid. Um, looking back on it, probably not. <laughs> Because we don't really ride them a lot. We just don't have a lot of time. Yeah. Having a farm is a lot of work. Like, it's just to, just to feed the animals and clean them and take care of them. It's a lot of work. What did you get them for? Um, Mom likes horses. I think she wanted to ride them. Yeah. Yeah. Because she used to ride horses when she was a kid. A lot. Yeah, yeah. She used to ride a lot of horses. But And she he's didn't just a little to bit too him. old. Yeah. And we still have to get a saddle. Yeah. That's the hard part. Without a saddle, you know what a saddle is? Yeah. The thing that goes on their back so yeah. you can sit in it more comfy? Yeah. That's hard to ride them without it. But you did. I did. Yeah. You, Mabel. Mom rode them a couple of times. I didn't, I didn't think Grant. I don't think Grant's been on them. I don't think Grant really likes the animals. Too I much. think he's only been at, at like on it like one time or like two. Yeah. You want to take a candy break? Yeah. <laughs> Did not think that was going to be a no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wanted to ask you. Sorry, I chew my Skittles. You know Skittles is my favorite candy? Mm-hmm. You know a lot about me, huh? Mm-hmm. How big do you think the world is? Oh, super big. I know. You ever think about other parts of the world? Sometimes. Yeah. In those sometimes, what do you think? <laughs> I'm making you think. <laughs> yeah. I um seen a picture like when I did a virtual field trip. Oh really? Yeah. And like Oh, like millions of years ago. Yeah. Like I saw a picture, and like all the continent continents were like so like um like bunched up. Yeah, do you know what that's called? No. No, it's called Pangaea. Oh yeah. Pangaea, yeah. And now I remember it. Yeah. So when all the continents, that's a long time ago. Like millions yeah. of years ago. You know that Mr. Sean's a a little bit of an amateur scientist. He went to school for Earth science. Ooh. Yeah, so he knows a lot about that. How long ago was that, Sean? Pangea. Uh, let me look it up. <laughs> I know it happened multiple times, maybe even three times, so I wanted to see what the really? other names were. Yeah, it's happened a couple times. So they like came Where together and then together, went back separate, and came apart. Really? I did not know that. I thought it was just like a one-time thing. And I think I just said step apart, but it was go apart and separate <laughs> at the same time. So. <laughs> And there was a lot of er- earthquakes because yeah. what causes earthquakes? When it like go when it's like when it touches and it like br- like goes up like well that's so that's when the plates yeah because the yeah. earth has a bunch of plates yes. right yeah. that all the land sits on yeah and mountains are created when the plates come together because mm-hmm. then they got nowhere else to go but up and then sometimes like Pangaea because it was all together when they Sometimes the plates move away from each other, and what comes in between the the plates? Mountains. No, when it goes to get when it goes away. Water. Water. So it makes oceans. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What are you learning about that right now in school? It was like um, two or one month ago. Really? Yeah. We should tell everybody. What grade are you in? Second. Second grade. Oh, tell me what you said in the car about reading. Um, it just feels like, um, it's just so easy that it, like, like, like when I was like three or four, like I couldn't know how to read. And I know that it's just so easy to read. Yeah. It's, you're at a very cool age because you can still probably remember yeah. when you couldn't, mm-hmm. when you didn't know how to read. And now... It's probably like a whole new world to you because now everywhere you see words, like you could read them and you know what they mean, right? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could remember the day. I wish I could remember learning to read because I don't, I don't even think about it now. I just look at words and I know what they mean. 
And I don't remember um, what day I learned to read <laughs> either. I just knew I learned how to read. So I know. I'm like, what is, uh, what's your favorite book? What's your favorite read so far? Do you um, like Dr. Seuss? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. But what's your favorite book? Um, I got three. Or two. Um, Fly Guy. What is it? Fly Guy. Fly Guy. Yeah. I didn't even know that was a book. <laughs> um, You're already smarter than your dad, you know that? <laughs> it doesn't take much to be smarter than you. <laughs> yeah. Um... I can't remember the name. Um, what does it look like? Or what was it about? Oh, it's um, Henry and Mudge. What is it? Henry and Mudge. Oh, okay. And... So Fly Guy, Henry, what is it? Henry and Mudge. Henry, Henry and Mudge? Yes. Madge? Madge. 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 And then what else? What are those read? What are those timed reading things you do? Hmm? You know those things that like we do at the breakfast bar at our house when like mom times you while you read a certain words. That's your homework. Yeah. What is that? It's like um, it's called a fluency, and like fluency test. Yes. Oh. And it's like they want to see. How many words you can read in a minute on that paper? Oh, okay. To like see what your reading skills are. Yeah, I feel like you're getting faster and faster. Yeah, and my friend Cooper. Yeah. It was like, two hundred thirty-six words, and he made it all the way to the end. Wow. I know. In one minute. Yes. Get out. I'm not joking. That's super fast. I, know. I don't even know if I could read that fast. I know. <laughs> That's what say I know. I know. So. <laughs> I read a lot, okay, bro? I know. You know how I learned to read? How? You know how grandma and grandpa are deaf? Yeah. They can't hear? Mm-hmm. So when I was growing up, there was always captions or, like, you know, subtitles? Yes. On my TV. There was? Yeah. So every time I would watch TV and they would talk, I would be reading at the same time. Oh, yeah, so like got, on the really, bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got really good at reading. Um, who's your who's your best friend at school? I got a few. You got a few? You have multiple best friends? Yes. Wow. Um Parker. Parker. Brayden. Brayden. And then there's a few more that are really good friends of mine, but not like my best friends. Not friend. your best friends. Yeah. That's okay. That's why they're called best friends. Mm-hmm. Daddy has a lot of friends. I have a lot of friends. And not all of them are my best friends, mm-hmm. but I have a lot of friends. And I know I got more. I just can't think. It's okay. So it's Parker and Bradley are your two best friends? <coughs> or are Brayden? <coughs> Whoa. You choking on a Skittle over there, buddy? I wasn't eating the Skittle. <laughs> <laughs> so you got two best friends and a um, bunch of other friends. No, one more. No, f- two more. Oh, okay. Easton and Max. Oh, ah, okay. You know, they might listen to this one day. So you better Maybe. be careful who you say your best friends are. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> they're going to listen and be like, oh, I wish I was Steven's best friend. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You shouldn't worry about other people's opinions too much. I know. I taught you that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I taught you a lot of stuff, huh? Yes. Yeah. And also, um, today, um, Max and Easton were um, playing football with me. Yeah. And... Max and Easton are, there's only like five or six boys like in my classroom. Yeah. And there's 16 like total. Oh, wow. So there's 11 girls in your class? Maybe not um, 11. Maybe 10. No, I'm pretty sure it's nine because um, two of the boys come at certain times. Oh, okay. So they're not always in your class. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's really like 14 people. Yeah. So there's like 
five boys and like nine girls. Yeah. You know those are called good odds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. You don't know what that means. No. It's good to have more girls in your class than guys. You'll learn it when you get older, buddy. I won't push that on you right now. Yeah, and also <laughs> yeah, because last year there was more girls than boys. Oh, that's good. That's good. You definitely want more girls around you. <laughs> Why? You'll figure it out when you get older, buddy. Oh, yeah. Next question. Uh, is, there, is there anything in school that, like, they say or do that you don't understand? Has there been ever a time in school where you're yes. like, why did they say that or why did they do that? Because yes. sometimes that would happen to me when I was young. And because Grandpa can't hear... I didn't really get to talk to him a lot about stuff, and he was always busy. So I didn't get to ask questions to anybody. I didn't get to, I didn't get like a, I didn't, me and Grandpa didn't get a chance to do a podcast. Yeah, and I was just about to tell that usually when, like, a lot of times when that happens, I always, like, ask questions about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I was, like, since you said that, I was like, that's why you couldn't ask questions because once you said that, I was like, why oh, about couldn't me and Grandpa? Yeah. Well, I mean, I could ask. No, him. like before, like you said that, I was like, why couldn't you ask? Could you ask questions? Did you ask a lot of questions in school? Oh, I definitely asked a lot of questions. There, when I was your age, people thought I was super annoying. Oh. Yeah, There's no I, stupid questions. There is no ask stupid questions. All the time. Yes. It's always good. I think you've got a pretty good personality. You're never really afraid to ask. Questions. Yeah. That's really good. So your dad asked you about the world and how big it is. Mm-hmm. How many how many people do you think are on the planet? Oh, like five hundred like million something. There's a lot more than five hundred yeah. million, but that's oh, but that's yeah. a good guess. That's really that's good really for somebody good your age. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah, that's higher than I thought you were gonna say. So you're close. Do you know the I'll tell you, there's eight billion people on the planet billion so 500 million whatever that means in your head mm-hmm. times that by 16 mm. that's 8 billion people oh my god billion's a big number Huge. billion is a big number you know that you can't even understand what a billion is no i do no you understand the word <laughs> no <laughs> i do no 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 i know you know the word but do you, like a billion is so many it's like a hundred millions it is 999,000 million? millions. Oh, my God. Well, and then another million. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a billion. Yeah. That's crazy. I know. That's a lot of people. I thought it was, like, only 100. No, there's a lot of people on the planet. That's why I asked you, do you know how big Earth is? Because it's really big. Yeah. I mean, there's so many places that you'll probably never even see, unless you travel a lot when you get older. What do you want to do when you get older? Football. I know. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, um, I feel like I'm pretty good at cooking. Really? Yeah. And this is the first I'm hearing of this. Continue. Because, like, a few days ago, I was cutting pineapple really good. Yeah? And I also cut um, watermelon sometimes. Really? Yeah. I mean, that's just a, a small portion of cooking, but okay, it's a I start. Know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a start. And sometimes mom, like, um, tells me, like, what to do. Yeah. To help her cook? Yeah. Yeah. To, like, um, help cooking also, also cook. Yeah, yeah. But do you enjoy, see, so if you want to do it when you get older, mm-hmm. right, you need to enjoy cooking. Mm-hmm. Not just be good at it. I, I do enjoy it. You do? Yeah. She's going to help you with your headphones. <laughs> she's I, such a mom. I think I think he's just a natural fidgeter. Like I told you, it's like how he watches TV. No matter how comfy he looks, he's moving in okay. 10 seconds. I am. <laughs> I know. You None of you boys ever sit still. Unless it's in a movie <laughs> theater. Yeah. What I movie did we? <laughs> what movie did we just see? Mm, um... Super Mario. Come on, bro. It was, it was the Mario. Mario. Yeah, it was Super Good Mario. But I just, so I just can't remember if it's called Mario 2 or is it just no, I think Mario? It was, uh, Super, Super Mario. Super Mario, Mario Super Brothers. Brothers. Yeah. yeah. Super Mario. Don't give me any spoilers. I haven't seen it yet. So good. Uh, it was so good. <laughs> yeah. 
It was the first time I've ever seen all my boys like sit still. They actually watched really well. But I still couldn't sit still. I know you guys. I like, was just. I was like this. I was just moving my feet, like, just like kicking them. Did you know? You remember Mr. Robbie? Yeah. That was me and Mr. Robbie's like favorite thing to do. Was just go to the kick movies. your knees. No, not kick my knees. <laughs> Fool! What? <laughs> no. Our I love thing kicking my knees. knees. <laughs> you love kicking your knees. I don't no. think you know what that means. No, just you mean like kicking, kicking your feet at, yes. below your knees. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, our favorite thing to do was. Go, go to, to the movies. movies. Yeah, you know why? You still do it. I still do it. You know why I love going to the movies? There's nothing better than movie theater popcorn. I know. Oh, it's so good. Get popcorn with butter and salt and pops, a little bit of sweet, yeah. and some candy. Yeah. Oh, it's the best. And, and I don't know if you got this, but the last time I went to the movie theater, I also got slushies. Uh, you guys love slushies. It's so good. I know. You know, I think you guys just love anything sugar. Yes. Anything sweet you guys love. Yes. You want to know what's scary? What? Sugar is not good for you. I know. I know you know, but it's not good for you. Mm -hmm. It's like a trap. I could tell you a pretty messed up experiment, but I don't know if it fits for this <laughs> setting. <laughs> I mean, is it appropriate? <laughs> yeah, it's about sure. sugar. It's about sugar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell well, us. it's also about rats. the other drugs that they gave the rats. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Okay. My so, mom tells me about drugs. Okay, well, hey, let's hold off on that part of the conversation for another time. <laughs> uh, so they did a experiment with forty-three mm -hmm. mice. Mm -hmm. They got them addicted to a drug, a bad drug, and then they also gave them the option to for that bad drug or sugar water. And forty out of the forty-three mice went for the sugar water because it's more addictive than the bad drug that they gave them. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That should tell you how powerful sugar addiction is. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, um, so you'll learn this when you get older and you do more science classes and health classes. They'll teach you about why humans love sugar so much. It's actually like part of our DNA to seek out sugary stuff. Because back when we were cavemen, there wasn't a lot of sugary things. They didn't have stores with candy, right? Mm -hmm. Back when there was cavemen, there was no stores. What do you think they had to eat back when there was cavemen? They would have to hunt. Hunt. And so what's that? Meat. 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 What else? Um. What else could you eat if you were just a caveman wandering around? Um. Vegetables and fruits. Vegetables and fruits. And what do you think fruits have? Um. We're just talking about. It. Mm hmm. We were just talking about. It. Sugar. Sugar. And that to to a caveman. Mm -hmm. Sugar, because it gives you energy, but fruits are like good sugar, and there really wasn't that many fruits back then, because they only come in, they, fruits only come off the trees and plants at certain times of the year, so they were really, really valuable to the cavemen. If they could find sugary stuff, like fruits, which that's all there really was, they would go crazy for it. And that's why we are all programmed to love sugar. Because if we found it, we were supposed to eat as much as we could, because then our body turns it into fat and energy, so that they could make it through the winter. Because usually fruits come around fall time, right? And then in winter, there's really not a lot of vegetables left or fruits left. So you need to store all that fat to make it through winter, right? Yeah. This is just a guess, but I think um, that bananas were, like, usually, like, the caveman's favorite, like, fruits. Um... It's just a guess, though. I'm sure that they loved bananas, yes. but it probably didn't grow everywhere. Yeah. So, like, some cavemen, I think, where are bananas indigenous to? I don't think indigenous? they're in trees. Indigenous? Is that the worst? I don't think they're in trees. Yeah, bananas come from a tree, yeah. Oh. Yeah. They come out in big, I'll have to show you one day. They come in these, like, lots of bananas all on, like, one big thing, and then when you cut it, you have, like, a hundred bananas. I'm going to take them to the botanical gardens. They have banana trees. Really? And coffee trees. Oh, really? Bananas are found in Central and South America, Africa, and Southeast Asia, where it's uh, humid and tropical. Oh, wow. That's actually a lot more than I thought. I, for whatever reason, I thought only South America. Wow. So, like, yeah, if there was cavemen that lived in North America, which is the mm -hmm. America we live in. They wouldn't have a lot. They wouldn't have bananas because they're not indigenous. Indigenous means um, like, like where it grows. Where, yeah. Yeah, yeah, where it started. 
I guess, maybe. Yeah, we're from that area. From that area. Yeah, yeah there's not bananas and there's not banana trees in, in but maybe, maybe like, um, like Florida or Mexico, like certain parts of them, mm -hmm. they might have had them. But yeah, so cavemen that lived up by where we live, they would never have had bananas. But yeah. it's a good guess because I know monkeys love bananas. I know. Do you think humans came from monkeys? Yes. You really do that? You yeah. think that? Yeah. Ooh, this is a bit. This will be a good transition in the next topic because we don't really talk about this at home. Mm -hmm. Do you know what religion is? No. No. I I I've heard of the word. Yeah. I just can't remember what it means. Yeah, because we don't really talk about it a lot yeah. at home, do we? Oh, wait, is it um? Is it almost like generations passed down? Kind of. So religion is. Is what people believe in. You know, remember we've talked about God before? Yeah. And like Jesus? Mm hmm So they, they're part of a religion called Christianity. And then there's other religions. There's like the Muslims, and they believe in Allah. And then there's the Buddhist religion. And then there's there's all different... There's, there's yeah. hundreds of religions. Like, like there's some of like crazy stories that people t told... That's kind of what religion is, buddy. It's yeah. a lot of crazy stories. Yes. A lot of craziness happens. Like, in the Bible, one dude walked on water. That's kind of crazy. What? Yeah. Doesn't that sound kind of nuts? Yeah. I think you can just, like, really fast, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but he wasn't walking on it really fast. He was walking on it really slow. There's a lizard oh. that walks on water. There is a yes. lizard that walks on You've seen that? Yes. Wait, what's that show you watch all the time about animals? Wildcrafts? Yeah, it's like yeah, one of like, your favorite shows. Yeah, like on it, um, there would be like this lizard, and it would just like move its feet really fast, fast, and it would have like, yeah, like almost like um, like um, something that could like connects their um feet, and then sounds cool. I'm not gonna lie, it sounds cool. It reminds me of, no, don't want you, it sounds like the Titanic. You remember that? Doesn't that sound like the Titanic? It That's really does kind of sound like that. It. Isn't that so cool? You hear that sound? Can you hear that in yours? It's, it? Yeah, it feels like it's like tilting. No, it's just me twisting something. I know. The Titanic did tilt. So you, you're too young to, you know what's wild, buddy? What? You're a whole nother generation. Like, there's so much stuff that happened when I was a kid your age, for us, that you have no clue about. There's some. That Not I'm, just some, a lot, bud. <laughs> no, some that I know about. Oh, really? Like mm -hmm. what? Um, so, um, there's this um, spaceship that um, tried to go into space, and then one of the motors popped off, and then it um, fell down. Yes, that has happened before. Did you know there was one where it blew up and the astronauts died? Yes, that, that's what I was talking oh, about. Oh, that's what you're talking about? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was very sad. Yeah, those people didn't make it. But that's science. Some mm -hmm. people got to try. Mm -hmm. Some people get hurt. I actually learned about that in, when I went on my field trip to the Chal Challenger Center. Oh, yeah, the Challenger. That's yes. what it's called. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so the Titanic, the Titanic was the first time that humans had ever made a ship that big. And in comparison to the cruise ships that we have now, it's really not that big. But at the time, it was one of the biggest they ever made. And on its maiden voyage, which means the first time it ever went out on the water with people, it hit an iceberg, a giant iceberg, and it sunk. And a lot of people died because they didn't have the right safety procedures in place. Can you imagine? And they were out in the cold, cold ocean. A lot of them froze to death. Yeah. There's a movie about it. It's very, very famous. A lot of people watched it. It came out when I was about your age, actually. Yeah. Pretty wild. When did you watch it? Um, I probably... I don't remember. It like came what out, age? So, I don't remember what age, but this is how old I am. They had VHS tapes. Do you know what a VHS tape is? Like a disc? No. <laughs> you don't even use discs now, do you? No. Oh, my gosh. This is before discs. Okay. It was a square thing that had a tape that... Oh, yeah. Was, and then you put it into a machine, and the machine sucked it in, and then it made a weird noise, and it would start making the movie. This movie was so long, it, take, it took two VHS tapes. It was a very, very long movie. Yeah. Pretty wild. So how, how famous the Titanic was, it is still... 
the fourth highest grossing movie of all time. Wow. It's Avatar, Avengers Endgame, Avatar The Way of Water, and then Titanic. The Avatars are in the top yeah. three top positions. Top three for a lifetime gross. So, okay, Steven, you're not going to understand this, but sidebar, like, I liked Avatar. Not that much. First one was dope. It's just Fern Gully with a higher budget. Right. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, I can't believe. Yeah. I think that's just a really good job of James Cameron, the guy who made him, right? Yeah. And just advertising well. And then he he's known for, like, going global with his movies. I think that's the only reason why. I feel like Endgame definitely I didn't deserves see. to be up there. Way of water. Yeah. Me neither. Yeah. That's what I mean. It has to be like a, a worldwide thing. Yeah, you, you wanted to watch it, and, I did. but you did not rent it. Yeah, why didn't I rent it? Yeah, it was super expensive. It was, I'm it was like 25 bucks. I know. That's so much for a movie. Yeah. That's not really worth Only it. Only to rent it. Only to rent it. I know. Unbelievable. All right. 25. 25 bucks. 25 bucks to rent. Yeah. Which means you can't watch it again after like probably like a 24 hours. hour. You have 48 you have hours. A, you have a 24 hour viewing window, but you have 72 hours to watch uh, it. Ugh. I know. How much was it to buy? I don't even know. I don't remember. Probably like 50 20, bucks. Oh my god. I'm sure it had yeah. to be way more expensive. Well, I mean, I wanted to watch the Mario movie really bad, and that was like $16 to rent. Sick and like. 20 something dollars to buy. I'm like, Steven, are you kidding me? You don't even remember when we were kids, you used to be able to go to the movie store and get like a VHS tape for like two or three dollars. And you could keep it for a long time. Family video. Yeah, like Blockbuster. Blockbuster. Blockbuster, family video. There's a lot of the world the that happened. Do you ever think theater. about that? Yeah, sometimes. Do you ever think about what happened before you were alive? Yes. Really? Yeah. What have you thought about? Or are you just saying yes? <laughs> I've um, thought about a few things. Okay. Um, Elaborate. Hmm? Keep talking about it. <laughs> um, so I would, I was like, what would like it be like um, if you were like in um, somewhere like where you can like um, you would have to like go a lot of. Um, places to, like, get stuff. Yeah. Like, before cars and yeah. stuff like that? Like, old times? Yeah, like, you would have to, like, like ride in, like... Um, a horse and buggy? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that um thing is that you sit in. What is it called? A carriage? Yeah. Yeah, they had... So, there's a few different time periods. And, and one that I like the most is, like, the Western. Back when nobody really knew what was west of the East Coast. The East Coast is where we live, right? Mm -hmm. in like New York and the South Carolina that we went to. You had to travel on what was called a covered wagon. So they had a wagon with wooden wheels and a couple horses or a mule that pulled you. And then they had like a white canvas tarp that went over the wagon. That's how you stayed out of the sun. Yeah, I think I've read about it or I've heard about it. In a, or I've heard about it in a virtual future. Oh. I've done like three virtual futures. That's, see, that's, I'm kind of sad about that. And it's kind of cool, because that stuff didn't exist when we were kids. See, when we went on field trips, we went places. Yeah. You know. I only went to, like, one, like, real f field trip that I actually, like, go to. Yeah, but that's because of, like, COVID. Yeah. See, you, you have a very unique childhood, because I didn't have anything like COVID when I was a kid. I, nothing shut down all my schools and all the public stuff. So I went on field trips all the time. See, your first pre-K, well, no, pre-K, pre-K? I was we, in... We three... You were I was in... I was... Do you remember when COVID first, first happened? It was, like, I was, um, I was in a different school, I think. For, for COVID? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was right when we yes. moved to the new house, yeah. right before, yeah, yeah. And it, like, like, it was, like, four, like, three months later that we moved, and, like, it had COVID. Yeah. And that's when we had to wear masks to school, like, every day. Did you like that? No. I know, me neither. Yeah, you know, How come you didn't like it? There's a couple reasons. Okay. Um, one, um, it gives your, like, ears, like, it, like, it... Hurts? Yeah, it hurts your ears. And two, I don't think many people, like know what I'm talking about I uh, like do it but like I wear like a gator mask sometimes 
But it gets so much spit, like, when you talk. <laughs> yeah. So I had to, like, turn it around, like, yeah. to a new side. The gator mask is, like, the neck thing yeah. that you wear around so you can pull yeah. it up. So it's, like, right here. Yeah. Or, like, right here. And it goes, like, all the way yeah. around and yep. it comes, like, I wear it for hunting. down to here. Yeah, yeah, I know. Did you did you not, like, not being able to see your friends' faces? Yeah. Yeah. You know what happened to me during COVID? What? I met... I met new people during COVID and they had a mask on and after the mask came off, I didn't recognize them because I didn't get to see half their face. Yeah. I started a new job during COVID Really? and it wasn't until six months, a year after starting that job. And I saw people literally had to reintroduce myself again. Cause I, I was like, oh, I, yeah. I don't remember your name, but I knew them with a mask and then we took the mask off and I forgot who they were. Yeah. Like I could, I was like, I did not recognize. Them. It's crazy how, Taking away half of your face, make like I had like to like affects your vision. Yeah, like, yeah. Them. I thought that they would look a certain way because you think that their chins would be a certain shape, you know, based off the top half of their face. And then you take off the mask, and it doesn't line up all the time. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. My brain made a face yeah. with the rest of their face, and then when the mask came off, I was like, "That's not the person I knew." You right. Was. And literally, I was like, "Oh, hi, Sean." They're like we we know for each like other. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So you didn't like COVID? I didn't. Yeah, me neither. It was kind of scary, though. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Now, like, now it's not really, like, not really bad anymore. No, yeah. Yeah. No. Well, like, we understand it a lot more. Yeah, not a lot of people get it anymore. Yeah, no. Yeah. That's a good point. Do you like it better now at school without COVID? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you appreciate school more? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You really like school, I notice. I don't love it, but I would, I'm okay with it. Really? Yeah. I thought you loved it. Before, you used to be so excited to go to school. <laughs> How come you don't like it so much anymore? I just act that way because cause I have to go to school. Yeah. I don't argue about it. I don't, I don't really care that I go to school. I'm just like, okay, I'll you, deal with it. You just got to do yeah. what you got to do? Yeah. That's a good mentality. Man, where'd you learn all this stuff? It's almost like you got a great dad. It's almost like I think of it by myself. Yeah, <laughs> you do think for yourself. I love that. I do like that you think for yourself. You're a very smart person. I think you're going to do a lot of great things. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. All right, next question. Let's see what I got. I see you're starting to save a little bit of money at home. Yes. Mm. And I'm about to, um, so I have a lot of packs now, like that I put my, no, like cases that I put my Pokemon cards in. Yeah. And now I'm gonna sell those for like, twenty five bucks. You're gonna sell them? Yeah. You're gonna sell your Pokemon cards? No, not my cards. My my um things that I put my cards in. All the cases. Yes. Yeah. Why? So you can make some more money. Mm hmm. And I got like, twenty six of them. Whoa. And that could like, be some serious there's cash. So, there's some that like I have like, a few of them, and they're like worth fifty dollars. Dollars. Really? Like people, like some people buy them at the score, s stores. Like I'm gonna sell like some for like twenty five bucks, but like, um, like five pack, like a pack at the store is like fifty dollars. The ones for that cases. Yes, like only like one, and like it's like people like my friend said. He brought it for like a lot of money, and he um no it was Camden and he gave it to me and and then I and then one kid on the bus gave a lot of people um packs wow. for free wow. and then and then someone gave all their packs to me so like and the ones they gave to me are like worth fifty dollars so I'm gonna um. Sell those for fifty dollars, and then the <laughs> other ones for like twenty-five. Whoa! And that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. A lot. I know you've been saving. I see. And like, I actually like did the math to like count, um, like the thirteen that I already had before like um the kids start started giving away the other packs, mm -hmm. and I would have three hundred twenty-five dollars. If you sold them all. Yeah. Wow, kid, that's a lot of money. Three hundred forty-five. I'm not gonna lie, I did, already twenty. I did not have that much money when I was your age. I know. Yeah, you didn't know, shush. I do. You got a bad habit of saying, "I know, <laughs> I know." 
I know. Because I do know. You don't know everything, boy. What are you, you going to do with your money when you get it? You're going to save it? You're going to spend some? Save it for college. Well, that's... You ain't saving it for college. Yes. Get out. You, so, I know what you're saving it for. What? Football stuff. Which is also college. <laughs> no, that's not. Bam. It. So you're talking my language a little bit. What is your favorite Pokemon? Pokemon? Yeah. Mm. You got cards or just the cases? I got cards. Well, who's your favorite Pokemon? That I have or just in general? In general and that you have. Um, The ones that I have. I have... um. Like this rainbow card, and I um no I like like what it looks like, so that's why I really like it. Mm -hmm. But I um don't know the name because I just got that card, mm. so I can't like always recognize the name. So that's like your favorite card you've got right now. Yes. What's your favorite Pokemon? Just of all the Pokemon. I got. Like, no, not of cards. Just I got like five. Favorite. Oh well, it's, what's number one? Yeah, let me hear it. So um number one is Mewtwo. Mewtwo is a dope good Pokemon. That's a good um, one. Another one is Charizard Charmeleon. Both of them. Let's go. That's two Pokemon. You know that, right? Three. Mm -hmm. And Charmander. Charmander. Oh, you mean of your top? Yeah. Of your top oh. five? Okay, yeah. okay, okay. It might not be a top five. It might be like a... It might be a top five. <laughs> okay. Or it could be a top four. Yeah, yeah. All right. What's the other one? Um, Nine Tails. Nine Tails is dope too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love Nine Tails. I love that you're going first generation. Like, I don't know the other ones. Mm -hmm. I, don't know I don't even know I'm doing that. Yeah, that, that's the Pokemon shows are back to like the original Pokemon, right? Yeah. Yeah, you were like watching Pikachu and the, like a lot more Pokemon. Pikachu was always my favorite. Yeah, and I'm like, a fanboy, so I just like the the what everybody loves. Yeah, and now the the um there's like new like Pokemon ep like episodes and like shows. Yeah, and like, when I was, like, four or three, when we were at, like, the old house, I, like, didn't, like, see those. You know you say like a lot? Yeah. Because <laughs> I just need to think for a second. I know you do. I love it. You, you speak very well, you know that? For an eight-year-old boy, that's very good. I'm mm -hmm. very proud of you. Of saying the words? Not really. <laughs> no, I'm not but proud of the But only because words. my... Teeth. I know. Let me see your teeth. Show everybody on the camera. Look at those big old gaps, boy. <laughs> that means you know what daddy's gotta do? Work some more. Braces. Braces. I gotta pay for them suckers. They're expensive. Mm -hmm. Have you lost all your baby teeth? I don't know when that no. happens. All. No, I'm not some still close. have to come out. It still has a bunch. Really? How old are you? Eight. Eight years old. Okay, I lost cause... eight teeth. So I have a son. Did you really? Yeah. Dude, eight is like your number. <laughs> yeah. That's how he's podcast number eight. Yeah. His baseball number is eight. His number in school is eight. He's eight years old. It's, it's my the favorite number. Podcast. It's his favorite number. Awesome. Well, awesome. It's got to mean something. It's got to mean something. Eight, 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 eight. You're going to be a lawyer when you grow up? I don't know. <laughs> if, I, if I feel both of those jobs that I wanted, then probably. Yeah. It went yeah. right over his head. Yeah, he did. Yeah, okay. So there's a, there's a lawyer... It used to be a lawyer group that that was their phone number, 888-8888. And they used to say it all the time on the radio, on TV, on everything. And it was kind of annoying. <laughs> but I love that it's your favorite number. I love it. Yeah, so what I was saying, um, my son is only nine months old, and he's got eight teeth. Wow. wow. You know, so... Oh, um, man, I better look out for the number eight in the next week. So, <laughs> yeah, honestly, so... He's having his baby teeth come in, and I have no idea. So you're eight years old. You've lost eight teeth, and yeah, this, you they're going to be in you, there for a while, huh? How old were you when your first tooth came out? Do you remember? Mm, it was like, I think it was in the summer or like the like, like very beginning of first grade. So last summer? Yes. So like seven, they started falling out. Um, I've lost like... Three or like two this year. Yeah. So I lost a lot of teeth in first grade. Wow. I don't remember losing my molar teeth. My, yeah, you know, your back. Yeah, the teeth. back. I don't remember yeah. losing those. Do you lose those? Yeah, but not until like really late. Those are like the last to go. I don't remember it at yeah. all. So when I lost one of mine, I remember the story. 
it was like probably around right now, like Memorial weekend. Yeah. It was a family party. I bit into a hot dog and I was <laughs> chewing on this hard part. I'm like, oh, what made it into the hot dog in the bun? So I took that like whole chunk out of my mouth and I was like, oh, there's a tooth in here. And I threw it out and I went and told my parents, I'm like, it's so weird. I bit into a tooth and they're like, let me see your mouth. I'm like, it's yours. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Oh, <laughs> you remember which tooth it was? It was one of those back ones. One of the back yeah, ones? Yeah. That's so yeah. crazy. Oh my God. I hope you don't do that. No. <laughs> that would be crazy. I'm never going to do that. Well, you never know. You don't know when it's going to happen. I'll keep an eye out. I know you do. Our, our mouth out. So on the money thing, I just taught you how to play... Chess. No. Hot hands. No. <laughs> What's Monopoly. The, Monopoly. You guys are always begging me to play Monopoly. <laughs> All the time. Why do you like Monopoly so much? I'm I not going to lie. I, I'm so surprised. I we we played Monopoly for the first time in I, our field trip. Field trip, I'm, vacation, no. bro. Vacation. It's not a field trip when you go I somewhere with your family. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we went to South Carolina Myrtle Beach and we brought Monopoly. Yeah. I introduced it to him and Grant, my other son. After we got back, we must have played it like, like, f- like five times. Five right? times, and then I didn't want to play because I got so bored, and the two of them kept playing with each other. You guys are little nerds. <laughs> it's so cool. You know what's good, though? Because that's... Monopoly is very realistic. You know, with the, with the yeah. rental properties yeah. and the money management and the math. I really... I'm surprised at how good you and Grant are at math. You guys do so good. You guys do really good. Yeah. Is money important to you? Not now, though. No? Not now, but, like, later in life, though. Wow. You're so smart. Why is it not important to you now? Because I'm just a kid. <laughs> you are just a kid. Who pays for everything? You. That's right. I do pay for a lot of stuff. I know. Unfortunately. All right, we'll move off the, we'll move off the money topic. I'm going to get you onto some rich dad, poor dad pretty soon. What's that? That's, the, that's like the next level of Monopoly. It's all about money, but you actually got to start keeping track of things, and it teaches you how to manage properties and businesses. It's, it's like a much more realistic Monopoly. You, yeah, like... The only like un like the only unrealistic thing about Monopoly that I know about is like the money. Like n- s- some people have like one thousand one th- thousand five hundred dollars, but like people who work, they don't get that much money. They Not get always. like a lot more. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you have to. The game has to have preset. Yeah. Numbers, so everybody starts the same, you know? Yeah. But then, just like in life, everybody has the same opportunity when you come out of school and college and you got to go out and get a job. But some people are really good at saving their money, like Grant is. Yeah. And some people are really good at buying lots of properties, like Daddy. Like da- no, and, and Grandpa. Grandpa does, Grandpa's very good at that. Yeah, he, but he loves to buy houses. Yeah. He makes a lot of money on rent. Like, almost every time we play... No, by myself, just me and Grant... Every time he goes on an orange, he buys it. Yeah. That's his favorite property. It is his favorite property. Is it his favorite color? I don't yeah. know. And no, his no. favorite, his second favorite is orange. His first favorite is purple. Oh, really? Yes. That's Grant's favorite color. Yeah. What's your favorite color? Um, red, blue, and teal. Number one. Teal. Teal. What a unique color. It's a dope I thought it was color. blue. Yeah. It was blue, but now it's teal. Now it's teal. I like it's light blue. blue better. Light blue? Yeah. 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 I like, like, see, I like blue. I like dark blue. I like like a midnight blue, it's called. Mm. It's got a little bit of silver in it. That's my favorite color. I, I like, like um like dark colors and like pictures and stuff, but yeah. like just like by itself, just like a straight line, it's teal. Yeah. Yeah. All right, before we get off uh, money. If you had a billion dollars, like unlimited money, yeah. what would what would you do with it? Like right now, or like what timeline? Right now. Yeah, what would you do? What would you buy? What would you? Who would you give it to? What would you do with I all would the give money? All like since there's so much money, I would give like um like f- like. Forty million to like you. Oh, thanks, pal. And like, <laughs> and like a million to like, 
um, Teddy, Grant, and Mabel, and probably like um, ten million to Mom. Oh, you give her less than me? She's not gonna be very happy when she hears that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but thanks, I, yeah. I, I want the most. So I yes. appreciate that. What else would you do with it? Um, instead, instead of just giving it to people, like what would you buy? If money wasn't wasn't even a problem, what would you buy? Anything you want in the whole world. Huh? Anything you want in the whole world. Anything you could buy. What would you buy? The one thing I would, like, you, you, I would think you would probably expect would be, like, a lot of toys. Yeah. But, like, I don't, like, really play with toys anymore. I know. I noticed I, that. Yeah. Like, I've, I haven't been playing with toys at all, well, really. You're getting older. I know. Yeah. Older. It actually makes me a little sad. And. I don't want you to get older, buddy. There's this one video game, and it's, like, baseball. Yeah. And I've actually, like, like been playing it at, like, Camden's house and Brayden's house. Yeah. I actually really like the game. Really? Like, a lot. Listen, I'm a little disappointed. Why? The biggest thing you can think of is our stinking video game. Yeah. You got I... unlimited money, bro. But I don't... Oh. Yeah. Unlimited. You could buy a stinking jet. You could buy your own continent. Unlimited money. Think big, kid. I can buy the world. Well, okay. Let's get realistic. Mm. <laughs> you know, what are you going to do if you own the whole world? There's still a bunch of people on it. Like, you can't do anything. I would. I but would, something big. What would you buy? Big TV. A big, come on, bro. You're, <laughs> how do you go from the world to a big TV? We already got a big TV at the house. We got multiple big TVs at the house. <laughs> Give um, me something cool. Like, take a second to think about it. Something Cool, man. Like, what would you buy? Anything you want. Disney World? <gasps> buy it. Nobody else can go on it except for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be sweet. <laughs> and, and we can open a business. Dude, who are you? You. I know. <laughs> I know you are. You want to know what's cool? What? I was thinking about this earlier. One day when we're super old, yeah? we're still going to have this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you would probably have like a lot of like um, episodes. Yeah. Oh no, I just meant this episode. Yeah. We'll be able to go back and watch this episode. Yeah. And see what I think from now and like from um from when you're older. Yeah. Yeah. You know, remember we were on vacation watching little videos, the old videos of when I was real little. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember those days. Yeah. I don't even remember being that little. Yeah. You know that's crazy. One day. You're going to get old and you're going to forget stuff. A lot. Yeah. Yeah, because you still have a whole lot of life to live, but... A know. lot, really, you have to remember seven or six years. I mean, yeah. I mean, as you get older, you remember less and less about your past, but you learn a lot of new stuff. Like, you're going to learn a lot of science stuff, a lot of math stuff, a lot of life. Mm -hmm. A lot of life happens. Are we past money yet? Yeah, yeah, we can talk about whatever you want, pal. <laughs> you, you, answered, you answered all my questions, man. You answered all my questions. We can talk about whatever. Why don't you ask me a bunch of questions? How about that? I can't think of. Come on. You got time. Think. Think. Is there anything you wanted to ask me? Appropriate stuff? We'll leave the inappropriate stuff for when we're driving home. Or not. I'll just cut it out later. <laughs> I Ask just, me anything you want. I just looked at the ceiling, and it, and it shaped, and one shape sh shaped like a lollipop, and then I was just about to say, what's your favorite candy? But then, right, already in it, you already told me it's Skittles. It is Skittles. Yeah, I'm pretty basic. Skittles has been my favorite candy since I was your age. I know, I love Skittles, too. I love Skittles. You didn't ask me what my favorite candy was. What is it? Guess. Um... It's a whole lot of candies, man. That's rough. I, mean, I like them. chocolate. Uh, I was going to say, yeah. It's, I feel like it's, it's sweet sweets. You got it. Snickers? First guess. Snickers? Yeah, Snickers is like my favorite. Oh, man. Yeah. We didn't get you a Snickers. Both of them yeah. had a Snickers. <laughs> oh, you made my Snickers? Snickers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ever think about dinosaurs? Sometimes. Yeah. You're not really interested in dinosaurs? Not really. You know, when I was your age, I was really interested in animals and dinosaurs. You were? Uh-huh. Yeah, I, used, I did a book report on um, spiders and all the different spiders. 
I actually don't know what a book report is. I actually haven't done it yet. What is it? So a book report is when you... Really? You haven't done a book report I yet? I haven't. I feel like I did a book report in second grade, Miss Shay's class. Huh. So a book report is when you have to read a book and then write a report, like a little essay, about what was in the book. Oh, we actually, like, do that, but we don't, like, draw it on the paper. We, like, we, like take a quiz on our computer. Oh, really? Yeah. On a computer or a tablet? A, a tablet. Yeah. That reminds me, your tablet's broken. Which one? Which one? The one I your had a tablet. lot broke it. I know. And it's always whose fault. And so the last one I broke, it wasn't my fault. Yeah. Whose fault was it? Grants and Tattles. Grants and Tattles. We should talk about our family. Yeah. I haven't ever gotten to talk to you about each individual member of our family yet. Mm-hmm. What about Grant? Tell me about Grant. Grant. I want to know what you think about Grant. Me and Grant are alike. You and Grant are alike. Yes. Yeah. What else do you think we about We like Grant? um we like to um play a lot of the games that we only like to play. Yeah. So like we what? Like, so like a few times I play with him on like video games and like Gang Beast. Yeah. You guys and, play a lot of PS4. Mm-hmm. Try not to push on the table too much, okay, buddy? Mm-hmm. And a lot of stuff I like, which is like, um, like playing baseball, kickball. I know. You guys like, play Like, I play a lot, lot of sports. I know you do. He you likes, get... um, like, video games. You stuff. love Grant? I love all my, um, um, Brothers and sisters. Yeah. You love mommy and daddy? Yeah. Yeah. That's no question. Uh huh. That's not a question. That's not a question. Yeah. That's good. That's how it should be, right? Yeah. What would you do if somebody tried to beat up one of your brothers at school? I'll beat them up. That's right. I like that answer. What do you think they would do if somebody tried to beat you up? If someone tried to be, beat me up, I would. I would. I, I mean, I wouldn't need their help. <laughs> okay, but what if you did? Like, what if there was, like, two or three other kids that were trying to beat you up? What do you think Grant and Teddy would do? If Teddy, like, Teddy is a wild beast. It, it, <laughs> like, is. when he wrestles, he is a wild beast. He really he is He would a wild do beast. anything to, like, just, like, punch. Yeah, to protect and, you? Yeah. Yeah, I know. No, he would do anything just to win. I <laughs> know, he does. He, he, just, he just goes crazy. He no, is kind once, of crazy. No, once, like, I... Hit him on accident, and then he, and just and then when he puts his face up, his face is just so red, and then he just starts attacking me. Yeah, <laughs> he's a little nuts. Sometimes I get a little worried about Teddy. Like anger issues. Yeah, man, he kind of scares me a little bit. <laughs> Kid gets angry. Yeah. There was one time that um, so we wrestle a lot at home, me and the kids, and I was and I was oh we, no, not Achilles. When we when you um fighted um. Uncle Kyle. Yeah, that was recently. That hurt. Yeah. Uncle Kyle whooped my butt. Yeah. Um, and I was wrestling Stephen or Grant, I can't remember. And I was kind of like getting on him and make, making him a little upset, whoever I was wrestling. And Keddy, Teddy <laughs> ran up out of nowhere and literally drop kicked me out of the air. <laughs> like in the back of my head. <laughs> Just, ah! And like full flight, legs, feet to the face. You got a scrapper on your hands. So yeah, he's, and it's funny because he's our youngest and the smallest. Oh, he's a scrapper then. Yeah, he's a little beast. Good luck. He's a little beast. And I can't remember what holiday. I think it's on. it was on Thanksgiving last summer. Yeah, last fall. Yeah, yeah, and um, we put mats down, and we and a Bills game was down, and everyone j- like Uncle Kyle like wrestled someone, and then all of a sudden like people were like, "Move out of the way, sit down," and then we and then uh, uh, like almost like all the people started wrestling. Yeah, everybody at the party. Yeah, yeah that was fun. That was really fun. All right, I'm gonna open up the questions to Sean and Amanda. Because I want to see what they have to ask you because they're not your dad. Yeah. <laughs> you okay answering their questions? Yeah. All right, cool. Not to put you guys on the spot, <laughs> but I ran out of questions, so <laughs> it's your I, turn. <laughs> I asked a couple of mine. Yes, he did. So yeah. my, oh, I, I wanted to know your favorite Pokemon. Yes. We can get deep. I feel like this is, these are all good, fun questions. Yeah, yeah. You guys got any deep questions for Steven? I want to see this kid think. I know. 
What do you think? What do you think happens when we die? Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, she we got just you. Disappear, or do we go somewhere? You go somewhere. Where do you think that is? What's it look like? Heaven. Heaven. Oh, yeah. Where'd you hear that's that? A part of religion. Huh? You. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, I, I want you books. to be... And books. I've actually read a book about, like, heaven. Really? Yeah. At school? And, like, angels, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. So they teach you a little bit about religion at school? Um, no, I just read it from a book. You just, like, pick books. Oh, at the school library? Yeah. No, it wasn't even a library. Like, it's, like, in our classroom. You just pick books and then do quizzes on it. Oh, wow. hmm That's pretty cool. Are you afraid of dying? Yes, but, like, it will, like, it will end, and since I, like, I think it would, like, like, when it's done, I, it, it would feel okay, because I think heaven is, like, a real thing. Yeah. Like, a real, real religion. Well, religion just describes heaven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you think heaven's a real thing? Yeah. And you think it, everything would be okay? Like, when it's, like... Done dying. When you're done dying. Yeah, like, it would just be okay. Why are you afraid of dying? I'm not. You're not? I'm you not. said you were. You just don't want that? to. You, yeah. you said you're afraid of it, but I, I think you meant that you don't want to die. Yeah, yeah right? you don't want to die? Yeah. Yeah, me neither. I don't want to die because I don't want to leave you. Yeah. I don't want to leave you in the family. Yeah, that's probably the worst part. I'm not really afraid of dying either. I, w- I wonder what age I'd be like. If, it depends, like, when you die. Yeah, yeah, I think it would be worse if you die young, because I think a lot of people would miss you. And also, like, you would live a short life in that experience, mm-hmm. of, like, like a lot of things. Would, yeah, you wouldn't you get would to like, experience yeah. a lot of things, yeah. Are you worried about not getting to experience a lot of things? No. No? You think you'll just experience a lot of stuff? Yeah. Yeah, me too. And I don't think about it too much. Yeah. I just do. Yeah. 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 Do you think ghosts are real? No. No? No. Not at all. All right. Steven doesn't get really afraid right. at home. Good we got a you. big we got a big old creaky house and I don't think I've ever seen you really afraid at the house. Yeah. You had a couple nightmares? Yeah. yeah, I remember those. You not you definitely don't like nightmares, right? I don't. Nah. I did I still have the night catcher in my room. I still have nightmares. Oh the dream catcher? Yeah. The dream catcher, yeah. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I feel like it's been working a lot lately. I've only had like like one this month or two. Yeah. I've only had like like, this whole entire year, I've ha- probably had, like, six or, like, five. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Do you remember what they were? No. No? Mm-hmm. Do you just remember waking up scared? Yeah. Yeah. I get scared, too. You Once know what? I, I still get nightmares. When I woke up at, like, one in the morning, and then I had a nightmare. Really? And you then, woke up and then had a nightmare? No, I or woke up. Or you had a nightmare I and had, then woke up? Yeah. At, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. Wow. We just bought Stephen a clock, so he's very accurate with his times. Yeah. I don't use it anymore, though. No? I just wake up early. I, I know. You mean the alarm part? No. I d- yeah, I don't use the alarm anymore. You're right, right. But you still look at the time to see what time it is. No. No? No. I, it's like under my, my bed. I'm, I'm too lazy to get it, so I'm like... Come on, man. What the heck? Yeah, I, I, waste I don't money use buying it. You a clock. I don't use it. Oh, all right. So you're not scared of ghosts. What's I'm your, not. What's your biggest fear? What are you scared of, then? Scorpions? Spiders? No, I'm not scared of, like, bugs or stuff. Not scared of bugs and stuff. I can confirm that, yeah. So they're, not scared of the dark. They're, they're, they're real farm boys. Oh, I get it. Real country boys. I was just throwing out examples. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've seen these guys in action. They'll pick some pretty nasty things up. So do you have a biggest fear? No. Not really? No. No? no? Fearless? Yeah. Pretty cool. I'm proud of you. Anything else? What's your favorite food? Food? Mm-hmm. Not well, candy. I got a couple. Yeah. Let's hear it. Huh? Let's hear it. What do you um, got? pizza, mac and cheese. Yum. Mm, those are good ones. Hmm. All the stuff you eat all the time. No. <laughs> That's what you eat all the time. Not every day. Not every day. You do. You eat a lot of what? Like chicken nuggets? Do you eat chicken nuggets? You not eat chicken really nuggets? Yet. No. Anymore. Yeah, not anymore. I. What have so you been eating a lot lately? A lot. What have you been eating a lot of lately? Like what type of food? For like dinner, I've been eating kind of lunch. Yeah? <laughs> like what? Sandwiches? Um, you eat a lot of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I don't eat. Grant eats like three or four a day. I know. He eats a lot. I, I only eat like 
one a week or like something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been, my, my kids are gonna eat me out of a home, for yeah. sure. Yeah, you have four growing children. I have four savages. Yeah, they're not growing children; they're savages. I'm not a savage. You're a savage. Do you know the Peter Pan story? No. Oh, let's not tell. <laughs> Why? Not it's scary. No reason. Have you not, ever not, seen Peter Pan, like the Disney movie? I have seen like half. No. Peter like, Pan that's with it. Captain Hook and Tinkerbell. Yes. That one. Yeah. But there's like there's like a new like, um. So it's like a there's one that came out and it's like, not, it's like not like a cartoon. It's like not live um, action. Sure. Yeah. Like actors. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Different. Yeah, new one. Cool. Is there anything you want to say while you're on the podcast? Yeah, do you have questions any, for us? Any thoughts or questions you want to say? No. No. I don't really think of stuff. No. Yeah, you no. You gotta think of stuff. I. Don't have any questions. No? No. Is it, there's never times during the day that you kind of like, huh, I wonder. No. No? no You're just uh, super focused young man? Yeah. Yeah? If it's not football or not money, you yeah. don't think about it? Yeah. Is it okay if I ask him if he knows where babies come from? I do. Shh. Okay. Where do babies come from? Um, bellies. 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 Yeah. yeah. They do. Women's bellies. Yeah, women, women create the babies. Ears getting itchy? Yeah. You about ready to be done? Yeah. I can stay here all day. Oh, yeah? Nice. I could too, buddy. I love talking to you. Ow. Ooh, I ripped the hair out. Did you pull your hair out? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right, pal. If you got nothing else, I got nothing else. You answered all my questions. Else. That was a good podcast. Yeah. That's pretty good. Give me a fist bump. <sighs> Guest number eight. Little Steven. <laughs>